hello everyone today i will show you this knife this is a zero tolerance uh 0850 0850 it says here sinkevich rexford it's dimitri sinkevich and uh, ted rexford they gathered uh one day in a barn start milling and peeling and something and uh, suddenly they came up with uh, something similar than this two knives they made and they sold them uh, immediately for a lot of money probably but then zero tolerance decided that they want uh, a production version of this which is cool and uh, they made this and this knife has uh, some unique features like for example uh, this thing here in the opposite side of the blade it's uh, it's range I don't know how functional it is but it look it's looking cool and also makes the blade a little bit lighter probably uh, the scales are completely carbon fiber which is kind of a blue carbon fiber if you can see and uh, yeah it's composite uh, materials uh, carbon fiber it's very cool and uh, this backspacer also is nice, but it's aluminium, it's not titanium. The titanium part is, I think, only this frame lock and the uh, pocket clip. And the other things, like this probably is aluminium, and this is definitely aluminium. They said uh, they don't hide it, it's aluminium. So what about the knife? The knife has a good action. I think it's on ball bearings. It should be, but even it, if it doesn't, if it isn't, it has a good, uh, good action. Uh, we can compare it, like size-wise, to the Benchmade Torrent, for example, which is a little bit smaller knife. Yeah, you can see. We can compare it to also Ganzo Firebird. Why not? Ganzo Firebird is a very cool knife, also smaller, but with broader blade and it looks, looks bigger. I mean, uh, bigger than it is. Looks and it's very very nice design by Ganzo or not by Ganzo I'm not sure, but otherwise uh, it's a cool knife. And also we can compare it with this knife, which is of course the clone for around thirty dollars I think. Uh, yeah, the back spacer is nothing like the original. The blade is similar, not exactly. You can see here and here we have a little bit diff diff difference. Uh, the logo here and the logo here is different. Also, the 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 pivot is different, smaller of course. This one here, you can see, is uh, kind of screwed into the blade itself, and here it's screwed in the original on top, and also anodized. Likewise, this is anodized. And this one is not. Yeah, in this size, this size, <laughs> in this side, we can see that the pocket clip is similar, not exactly the same. This thing is also similar. This is bigger here in the original. And of course, the, uh, the clone is G10 scales, and it's a little bit heavier. And also, the action is not that... Uh, but it's not bad. I think it's also, oh, yeah. Uh, if you cannot, if you if you don't uh, succeed in opening it, you're uh, messing up your finger here. This is with the with the clone, with the original. There is nothing like this. It's very cool. I mean, yeah. Uh, I received the clone first, and the clone was very difficult to open uh, in the beginning, of course, and. My finger, just uh, my nail was always scratched. And uh, when I uh, tried the original, I was like, wow, it's so easy comparing to the, the clone, of course. Yeah, you can see the thickness of the blade and everything. So, blue carbon fiber and other stuff. Uh, the blade steel, I think it's here. Yeah, CPM 20 CV. Uh, this steel, I read that this is similar to M390, but a little bit inferior. 
it's not exactly as good as M390, but it depends on the heat treatment, I think, so it's cool. It's very comfortable. It's not the, the most comfortable knife. Let's see this one, for example, the Bone Doctor. Ah, yeah, the Bone Doctor is pretty comfortable. Some, some people say that it's the most comfortable, one of the most comfortable pocket knives. Mm, I'm not sure, but this is pretty comfortable too. It's uh, all carbon fiber, so it's a little bit warmer to the touch. And this one is has some titanium, uh, more titanium like here, for example, and when we grab it, it's a little bit colder, but it's, it's very cool knife. Uh, in my opinion, if I have to be honest, uh, these knives are the same money, worth the same money uh, for me. This I bought for $250 from the United States, but it came with um, all the taxes and stuff in it. It, uh, it was around $300, I think, and this one was $225, something like that, because uh, there was a discount. And it came with this price, so this is cheaper, but I like this more. I like the Bone Doctor more. It's more, how do I say it? I don't know, it's just a, it, and also it's a flipper. I like flippers. I don't particularly like tungsten knives, you know, like to do it with, with this. Yeah, it's a, a little bit out of, yeah, we're living in the 21st century or something, yeah. Ah. So flippers. Better knives. Uh, currently, I'm wearing the Venom, uh, not the Bone Doctor, but the other one, the, the Harpoon, and I'm very happy with it, except for the clips, of course, it's a little bit of a mess, and this clip seems nice, and uh, I haven't wear this knife, I uh, haven't been wearing this knife, and I probably won't, and at some point, probably, I will sell it, we'll see. Uh, <clears throat> I don't sell my knives, usually, but this knife is pretty expensive, and also I bought it, I don't know why I bought it, because, I think I bought it because I saw in some uh, sites um, that it's very, uh, it's uh, discontinued, and there is no, no more pieces uh, left. Then I uh, check out in uh, Bulgarian uh, in Bulgarian shops, and it was it was around uh, three hundred and fifty euro, which is around four hundred dollars. And when I saw it in uh, in some American site, I'm not sure Blade HQ or something, uh, it was two hundred and fifty dollars. And I say, okay, it's a bargain, and I bought it for this. Uh, probably I won't sell it. I, I don't. Um, I don't sell my uh, knives very often, you know. uh, almost never, because I don't need to sell them, you know, I just, I just want to look at them at some intervals, for example, once in a three months I get up all my knives and just say, okay, this knife I love, this knife I like, this knife, uh, not so much, but it's cool, why I bought this knife, I remember some stuff, sentimental, so, this knife uh, can grow on you, you know, it's it's a pretty pretty unique design. And uh, the, the second reason I bought it, of course, is because of the red carbon fiber. I, uh, not the red, the blue carbon fiber. I have uh, a knife with a red carbon fiber, which is very, very rare these days. This is the Chaburkov Ruski. Damascus, and uh, yeah, the detent is a little bit weak on this one, but this good detent, good opening, and uh, blue carbon fiber. So I have red and blue now, which is cool. When they release a knife with green carbon fiber, probably I get it, and then I would like orange carbon fiber. If somebody from the knife making industry is uh, listening, please make orange carbon fiber. I will definitely buy it because orange. Orange is a very good color. I like it, and many people like it also. Let's make. Let's just uh, on a final see how much it weighs. It should be around 120 grams. Yeah, 122 exactly as the specifications. It's 22 centimeters long, which is ideal. 
I like a little bit longer knives. For example, this Spider Core Resilience is maybe the, the best size for me. And this Spider Core Resilience is 24, I think. And this is <laughs> it's pretty good, yeah. Resilience, very nice knife. Amazing uh, action and everything, just, just very cool. And it's very sharp now because I've sharpened it. Um, yeah, the price of the resilience uh, just came up uh, recently in the, in the recent years. It was pretty cheap, like back in the days. But whatever, it's uh, yeah, zero tolerance, zero eight fifty, zero day fifty. Yeah, you see in the the title of the clip, it's zero fifty. I don't know why the form of this and this is like like this. It's kind of a barrel of a revolver or something, I'm not sure. But it's original and it seems cool. So it's pretty good. Also the locking is, is cool. And uh, yeah, Zero Tolerance. It's a good brand. So I expect nothing more than a very good quality. Yeah, good knife. The centering is perfect which is mandatory for this kind of knife mm, and that's it probably for this knife I don't know what, what else to say blue carbon fiber, red carbon fiber and uh, just a regular carbon fiber it was not even marbled carbon fiber, it's regular carbon fiber ah, and uh, of course fake carbon fiber Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if, if this lamination here is even a carbon fiber or just some I don't know what but it's G10, uh, most, of, most of it is G10 and just a thin layer of something that resembles uh, carbon fiber but if you compare it, you can see that it's... Uh, yeah, it's not exactly a carbon fiber maybe it seems a little bit like this but not quite so, yeah red, blue, regular and fake uh, although it's a very very good knife, very nice. So, bye for now and uh, see you in the next one. I don't know, I haven't ordered any knives lately. So we'll see if soon I will upload something, but yeah, we'll see.